time no see. I haven't posted a video in about a week and I just want to quickly explain that. So I just finished finals. I am a full-time university student. I literally had four of my final exams within five days so it was just constant studying and I had to make the decision to not post videos just because the video takes about six hours in total to edit and upload and all that kind of stuff. And school does have to be my first priority just because I'm spending so much money to be in school. So that is definitely important. So the next thing I want to talk about is obviously my hair. It does look different. I got a haircut. Um, I don't know the exact inches, but I want to say like eight, at least eight because my hair was very, very long. I've always had long hair. I've literally never cut my hair this short. And obviously this isn't like that short in comparison to a pixie cut or something like that. But it definitely is short for me. I do really like it. I completely ran out of the blue hair dye and my hair is was just that kind of like green yellow color. Like it was not very pretty. So I had to make the decision if I wanted to either buy the blue hair dye again, dye my full hair, or if I wanted to get it cut off. And I decided to get it cut off just because it was always just in tangles. So when I did have blue hair, I had it dyed about every single three weeks. So that definitely did some damage on my hair and it just was unhealthy. So I decided to cut it. And I know that a lot of people are cutting it around this time, but I mean, I really had no other choice because for me to dye it um, the full color, like my hair still would have been very damaged on the end. So I just really thought that this was kind of the best decision and so far I absolutely love it. So the third thing I'm gonna talk about is obviously an acne update. Now I am wearing eye makeup and I just put something on my lips, but I'm not wearing any face makeup whatsoever. So really, I mean, my acne is generally kind of the same, probably a little bit worse, really. Yeah, so as you can see there, it's definitely red, definitely red right here. I would say like overall on my chin though, in comparison to uh, like last summer, my skin is like tremendously better. I really do not get active breakouts half as much, probably even like a quarter as much as what I used to. I used to just like constantly have multiple breakouts on my face and now I don't. So I have been getting quite a few comments just with people saying like, oh my goodness, your skin is a lot better. It is in comparison to last summer, but I'd say like, the past, I don't know, probably like six months, it's generally kind of been the same. And I mean, foundation really is amazing. As long as you don't have active acne, I mean, you can cover up your skin pretty well. I will say though, because I've been doing exams, my skin has just been kind of wreaking havoc. Um, I haven't been working out anymore and I also have not been drinking enough water. So my plan in the spring and summer is just to get back into working out and eating healthy because I was doing that for a while and I found that I just felt really good. Um, and I kind of miss that. When I'm in school and I have all these exams and papers, like that really comes first. And because I'm kind of like newly on my own, like I'm not, I'm definitely not the best at cooking. So like cooking takes a long time. So it's like, if I have a big paper due, I kind of like push that to the side, I just haven't been eating well. And I know that there's always that kind of big debate about whether or not what you uh, eat affects your acne. And I mean, I've seen it both sides. Like some people say it does and people say it doesn't. And I honestly do not know if it does or doesn't. So I have been using a new acne system for the past month and a half and this company contacted me, they're called Clear Clinic, um, and it's a personalized acne treatment system, and they're based in New York City, and it's actually like a physical clinic that people go in to get rid of their acne scars. They contacted, I think it was about like 10 kind of like beauty bloggers. So you essentially fill out a quiz online, and then they give you products geared towards your type of acne. I just wanna say like how kind of grateful I am that any companies contact me because I'm just like an average university student, don't got money for expensive acne products for sure. So um, it's just very humbling and kind of crazy for acne companies to contact me. So yeah, I will say like this stuff is expensive. My God, I think it's like $175 for two months. That's including shipping. It's like really expensive for shipping in Canada. I think shipping was like $50 or something like that. So it's definitely a lower price range if you live in the States. So it's really expensive and I really don't want to like promote products that aren't working for me, but I did kind of want to show you guys what I'm using currently. I've been using it for a month and a half and I will say that my skin is very soft. I haven't been getting as many breakouts, but generally over the past few months, I haven't even without this system. So, so far I haven't seen that much of a difference on my skin besides the softness 
Now, I think you're supposed to take it for four months, and that's the thing with acne products. I mean, something might not work for you for two months, then that third month, you're like, my goodness, my skin is different. But I just wanna say that this packaging is like very gourmet, like it is definitely a more expensive acne line. So inside the flap, it just has a card explaining all the different products and stuff like that. And I will say that I absolutely love the packaging. I think that it's just very pretty and very kind of professional. So it just says cleanser, AM treatment, PM treatment, moisturizer. So it's a four step kit. And depending on your quiz, it will be different. So they didn't pay me or anything like that to talk about it. They don't even know that I'm um, making this video. Oops, but I just kind of wanted to include it in the video just to kind of show you guys what I'm using. So if it does end up working, I'll definitely tell you guys. But again, it is a more expensive line. And I guess I will also do a close-up on my face so you guys can see if you're interested. I don't know if this is going to be 2 HD. Um, it might be 2 HD. So as you guys can see, it's not very fun over here. My face is very red. Um, that's how it always is after I use kind of acne products or I wash my face. And also I just kind of want to mention this and it's the fact that like I really do not feel like half as bad about my acne. Like for example, when I did my um, full coverage acne foundation routine during that time, like it was just a very kind of painful thing. I really hated it. I think especially from doing um, YouTube videos, I just don't feel half as bad or a quarter as bad anymore about my acne. And I mean, obviously I wish I didn't have it, but I just want to say like in comparison to all the different things in the world that people could have, I consider myself to be pretty lucky. Okay, so that's everything for this video. I hope you guys like my hair. Um, and even if you don't, I mean, that's totally okay. But I'm just really liking it. I think it's so much fun. It takes no time and it's not tangly and it's so much healthier. P.S. I have a prom giveaway going on right now. So you can check out my prom essentials video if you want to win this clutch. I'm announcing the winner tonight. Woo, last minute. And also I have another giveaway going on for a derma roll and it's like a secret giveaway. It was a collaboration with Dazer's 89. So we're giving away a derma roller kit from her line and you guys can check out my March favorites if you want to win that. Okay, so that's everything I got to say. Follow me on my social medias. I just created a Facebook page if you want to be Facebook friends. Well, it's like a page, so you like it. I guess we're not gonna be like friends. Can't like your Facebook pages unless you have them. And yeah, follow me on Instagram if you like. Um, I post kind of pictures about my day in my face. I really try not to post a lot of selfies. I really try to be conscious of that. I'm like, okay, so man, if you post that selfie, you know you gotta have three pictures of something else. Anyways, that's everything. Uh, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.